Hey hens, how we all diddly doing? How's everybody all? No, I've gone for a very purple paint today with a splash of pink on my eyes and it does look a little bit like I got red eye, but we're just going to go with it, babe, because if it's God's will, it's God's will, do you know what I mean? And today, I wish that I could promise you that this video had some rhyme or reason to it. Does not actually there's actually none i just you know i felt in a little bit of a bitchy mood better to take it out on a sim i'm trying to think of a second one of that sentence but the only other thing is better to take it out on a sim than a simp anyway <laughs> As if that wire's been banned off Twitch. I think I'm just gonna have to soldier on. Maybe, I don't know, my eyeshadow was a precursor at this and I am actually getting pink eye. Right. It's been a while, and it? Well, it actually fucking hasn't really, has it? Today, we are going to be talking about Don Lothario. Now, listen, I, 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 I do kind of respect him. Do I think he's a massive fuckboy? Yes, but also I would let him break my heart. And even... I'm on Google right now and the fan art for him is absolutely amazing. Stunning. This one is by Z. Catverse has done this makeover of him. I mean, that is very realistic, actually. How do you, how does one get Sims to look that realistic? I have to try. Anyway, the basis of this video is why do we let this man exist? Because this man is very much toxic, which we did cover in one of my latest videos. If you haven't seen it already, I really do recommend it. It is judging Sims based on their level of to toxicity. And I did come to the conclusion Conclusion that this man is toxic. So yes, this man's toxic and we're going to go through his story. I do already have an entire history of on him. So if you want to go really deep into his story, then you can go, go down that route, babe. But as for now, sit back, relax. We're going to be having a great time and we're all going to have fun. Do I have The Sims 2 installed? That would be, be helpful. I've got fucking everything apart from The Sims 2, apparently. Oh, I've got a lovely picture of a horse as well. In the answer, this is not helping Kayla's theory that I am a horse girl. On The Sims 2, we're going to Don Lothario's house. Who is Don Lothario? Is his engagement to Cassandra Goth genuine? No. Spoiler alert, it's fucking not. And what about the rumour that her mother, Bella, was last seen scaling the deck of his condo? Dirty, dirty, dirty man. His only friends are the Dreamers, which I, I find it quite hard to believe. But the Dreamers are friendly with everybody, to be honest. You don't have to be f***ing friends to f***ing f*** them. Ha <laughs> ha. I had fun. Right, so this is his house. Absolutely. Well, do you know what? It is quite cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. But it's cool from like a Sims 4 perspective, looking at like this wall that reminds me of Windenberg. That is cool from that kind of perspective. Also, the items in it, looking from also a 2021 perspective in, in the, in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the, Fuck! In the perspective of the fact that Y2K is now back in fashion, the bootcase is fantabulous. This couch looks like it's seen some nasty memories that I'd rather not think about. However, the water on the bathroom floor is absolutely disgusting. Get a bath mat, babe. They don't cost that much. You can get one in Poundland. His entire aura is actually quite like the standing man emoji. Oh, he's got his ring on. I've never noticed that before. It doesn't even look like it's fucking on. And then you go upstairs and then his bedroom literally looks like the pits of hell. It's quite cool, actually. Like actually. It's quite cool if it didn't look so... Who the fuck? Shea Johnston. Literally, babe, babe. I'd absolutely not appropriate. Actually, he's literally looking at... No. What? Really don't know why he's here. I mean, love is love and everything. Go for it, babe. But I can't remember if I've already played through some of his storyline on this. And then this is just a random man that came over. Uh, I don't know if this man is here. Oh, well, do you know what? Don Lothario might just be putting the buy in, bitch. And I love that for him. Love it, honestly. This is meant to be a hate video on him, but he does do me proud sometimes. And then he go upstairs and... And then this is the infamous telescope that Bella Goth was looking out of. Plot twist as well. The plot thickens, my darlings, because over here, this is a picture of Bella Goth. Bella Squared, one of SimCity's best known inhabitants and finest neighbours. Bella is now forever preserved by this glorious work of art. Mm-hmm. Hers is a gorgeous face recognised and loved by many. Yes, because it's on the fucking milk cartons. That's why. Though the piece has been heralded as painting destined for greatness, its anonymous creator refuses to come far. Does Don have a painting skill? Oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Mind, I think the fact he's got level four cleaning skill is a big fat fucking lie because literally the evidence suggests otherwise, you know what I mean? And his memories, oh God, are filled with cockroaches actually. Oh, his first kiss was Nina. And then he grew up into an adult and both his parents died. Oh, and then kissed Dina for the absolutely fucking not. And then got electrocuted. They do say that like having big injuries can affect your brain chemistry and stuff. Then he got a job, got rejected for a makeout with Bella. Now that is absolutely suspicious. And then kissed Cassandra 
Sandra, then kissed Kate. Fucking hell. Then fell in love with Kaylin, did Wahoo with Kaylin, got a promotion, got rejected for public Wahoo, got another promotion, did public Wahoo. Well, <laughs> the odds are ever in his favour. Fell in love with Cassandra, got a promotion, got engaged to Cassandra, had an affair. Absolutely disgusting. Made out with Nina. Met Mortimer, got caught cheating by, by Nina, lost Nina as a best friend, made out with Kaylin, had an affair with Nina, well, she's forgiven him again, got caught cheating by Kaylin. Shit, there's, not, there's another page. Lost Kaylin as a best friend, had an affair with Dana, made out with Dana, fell in love with Dana, made out with Cassandra, got caught cheating by Dana, lost Dana as a best friend, got caught cheating by Cassandra, lost Cassandra as a best friend. Vermin, 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 vermin. Sensing a very strong theme here. And then he met Shea, right? So I think I must have played through a little bit because I do think, honestly, I do think that all of these vermins are me, actually. I love having this little memories bit. I love just going through you. Oh, sorry, drop something. I love just going through your Sims lives or two. Has he been on holiday? No, he hasn't got anything. Hasn't completed anything. Good. Stay miserable, darling. Now we're going to go back into neighborhood view. We're going to uh, the goth family household, right? And we've got this beautiful scene of the wedding. Honestly, Don turned up here like Jack fucking Flash. But now if we get married, watch this shit, honestly. It's better than any episode of Love Island. Well, it, it will be once it kicks off, you know. Here we go. Jahano. Love so nebre. Uh, Steve Flo. Steve Flo, Juby. <laughs> It's even raining in the fucking pathetic fallacy. Darling, my darling girl. God bless her. God, I don't know why the fuck you're crying. You murdered your wife, you bitch. Well... Anyway, obviously was supposed to marry Cassandra and then had an affair with the mom. He tried to get with the mom, couldn't get with the mom and instead got with the daughter. And he was also hooking up with Nina and Dina Caliente. Now, if we go into The Sims 4, right? Let me just set the scene for how disgusting this is. Yeah, I'm moving over the road. I'm going to see all of his fucking dirty... Actually, I don't want to see all of his dirty deeds up close, do you know what I mean? I think some things should be left to the imagination, actually. So I won't be engaging in them today. But just so he knows, though, I am on the outskirts looking into his life judging. Right, let's go into the Caliente family. First and foremost, there is going to be an elephant in the room. And I'm just going to let you know now. Because we've seen Nina and Dina in these memories now stunning in the air. And then we are just going to quickly observe... The Quite honest war crime. That is Nina and Dina Caliente in The Sims 4. I am a victim of a hate crime. It's not what a hate crime is. Well, I hated it. Moving swiftly on. So now we have Don Lothario living with Nina and Dina. So you might think, oh, well, do you know what? He found out that he is actually polyamorous and he wants to be in a polyamorous relationship and he's worked it out. No, he's just living with them and his mum. Oh my God, just told a lie. <gasps> there is... Multiple bedrooms. Oh no. I always thought he was in a relationship with a man. This makes it even weirder, actually. Let me go back into Manage World. So I need to see this family bio. Have I been mistaken this entire time? It's no longer girls only now that Caliente uh, Matriarch Katrina has moved in. <gasps> no, I was I was right. I was right this whole time. Caliente Matriarch Katrina, which is not her name, has moved in with her mooching boy toy Don. With three fiery, attractive ladies in the house, will Don remain faithful or will he get involved with more than one Caliente woman? Death. Death to all of them. Literally only just turned young adults as well. Why is this man allowed to exist in The Sims 4? I honestly have no idea, babe. No fucking idea. I don't even have any violence mods. Just shout forbidden words at him, I guess. That's the most threatening that we can do so far. You bloody bitch. That's what Don's problem is. He's a womanizer. Oh, he's a womanizer, baby. Let me just enable custom content and mods. I'm going to restart the game. Don't mind me, darling. Are we all enjoying the purple streak of the fringe my granddad said it's his favorite hair that i've had i do feel a bit emo actually and that's fine because at the end of the day i am i am a bit emo i am massively emo actually massively emo remember when nobody when you were emos and nobody admitted there were emos what was all that about like yes i'll, I'll come back fucking obviously was an emo and then this girl that i knew admitted she was an emo and i was like <laughs> 
calls her, what the fuck is this teenage mentality? Like, do teenagers now not admit the e-girls? Oh, he's knocked me bastard bin over, you bitch. Who do I want to kill him? I think I would like Dina. If we can just come over here where it's beautiful lighting. All the more better to take pictures of you, my darling. Oh, God, she's got a bikini top on. Okay. Well, well yes, iconic. Let's go for it. Um, Extreme violence. Definitely deadly interactions. Crash head with booty. God. Smack my ass like a drum. You silly cunt. Fucking hell. Then my head hit the wall. Boom. <gasps> oh, my God. Bitch, get back. <gasps> oh, my I fucking hate this man. I'm going to have to get the man to team up on him. Don you fucking bitch. <gasps> What the so fuck? Why is this man unbeatable? You need to come down here. <laughs> Avenge your sister. Oh, thank God. Now, I'm not usually one for violence, but this is 100% the answer. God bless her little cotton socks. Big rim, really. Where's Don? Oh, no. And all in those glasses as well. What a very sudden outfit change. Is this Mortimer Goth? Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course he's fucking involved, isn't he? Of fucking course he is. Well, anyway, Don Lothario does not get to exist on my timeline. I shouldn't have let him exist in the first place, although I do tell a bit of a lie there because he is quite iconic to watch, honestly. I really didn't expect him to repel the crash with booty, but... At least he's good for summit, right? That is everything that I have for you today. This video was a little bit different, but you know what? I'm just trying to do videos that I have so much fun doing. And I think that can really tell with the vibe. So please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, bitch. I think I did it, but I just can't prove it.